Hey everybody, happy Monday. It is Monday. A um, few things today that I went to the mall. Now today is Monday, right? I went to the mall when? Saturday. I went to the mall Friday. And I was explaining to you about the bags. The bags are coming and going. Well, today also I went today, which is Monday. The bags are all gone yet again. I find that so funny. So, so funny. I'm just trying to adjust this camera a little bit just to get a little bit more light. I'm sorry. Um, however, <laughs> I'm going to call them the Disney weekenders because the weekend bags that were there on Saturday were all gone. They must have showed up on Sunday and just like wiped them out completely or maybe as the day went on Saturday. I was there until about 2.30 on Saturday. So I just want to say maybe that's why. But anyhow, that's the way it goes on that one. <laughs> I don't know, folks. Um, I invented that word, the weekend is Disney weekend is, and I'm going to say that it's because it seems to be everything wipes out on the weekends because probably everybody works during the week. I can understand that. So the Disney weekend has come and they do a clean sweep of all the, <laughs> of all the Disney merchandise out of Primark. That's what I came up with. I also invented the word Primark lift gators. That's me. This is you heard it here, folks, because you have what is called Disney rope droppers. And because they all got to get to the ride, they have to get to the places first to where that rope lifts and then their day starts. And then they shoot out like a bullet out of a gun just to get to the friggin' front of the thing there for the ride. But anyhow, I came up with Primark lift gators. I want to be there when the store opens. I want to see that gate lift up and then our day gets started. <laughs> So then we can run over to all the Disney merchandise. Just saying. But, you know, I try to I try to make things funny. I, I think of these things in my for myself in my head. I try to make things funny. Um, yeah. I will say on Channel 4 this morning, Channel 4 News, which is my news source here in New York, the Today Show, they had made the announcement because what it is that what it is is that I watch the numbers. See, I like the business aspects of things, especially with the Disney stuff that's going on and their movies and how much they made, like the gross making for the weekend because it first opened up this week. Well, Elemental went downhill. It didn't even try to resurface. It just kept, it went downhill and just kept going. Okay. As it's marked now, it is marked the worst film in Pixar history through Disney. And if that's not bad enough, they lost a gross total. What they had anticipated to win to to make was nowhere near it. They lost a gross total of five million plus dollars. Way to go, Disney! Way to go. Uh, what was that thing there? Bob Iger was saying that he had apps. He had actually phoned. Um, the guy, the person at Universal when the Super Mario Brothers movie came out and he had congratulated them on the work for the Mario Brothers and that he had, um, he says, boy, I hope, I hope uh, my company has as much great success as you guys do with your movies and hopefully one day we'll have our success. Well, I think you just jinxed yourselves because the Little Mermaid wasn't up there either. Okay. Now, no matter what you do, a Disney fan will always put on rose-colored glasses and see, and this is what I'm saying to you, folks, no matter how bad things are, they still say everything's wonderful. I've seen um, a few influencers on, um, on Instagram and YouTube. They went to the premieres uh, of the Elemental movie, and, you know, you have so many things going on at this time and it's and it's true to uh to understand you do have the little mermaid movie still flowing around which is kind of dying down because i haven't even seen it advertised anymore on tv i think i think uh, anytime soon that'll be hitting disney plus i think elemental will be hitting disney plus next week <laughs> the rate that's going you know but um certain influencers have been getting invited to red carpeted events and going to see the movie and of course with them everything is wonderful oh it's wonderful oh it's great it's really oh my god i loved it just because you loved it doesn't mean anybody else loved it because the numbers don't lie 
wow yeah um disney lego lego disney has come out with the castle that you see that i have that's 4080 pieces i'm very proud of that that was my hugest accomplishment it is very therapeutic to build something like that they came out with another one for the 100th anniversary it's basically the same looking castle maybe the colors are a little bit off and they added some more extra um, details to it i think tiana is also included in that now um my set went for 400 oh no i'm sorry my set went for 349 dollars in its day i am proud to say because just because i own it i am um sad but proud to say that my castle has now been retired it is now retired in the lego community so thank you um it's a great run it's a beautiful castle however the new castle now is going for close to 400 i think it's 399 there is no release date on it as of yet but wdwnt had made the post had made a whole article on it they show you the pictures of the castle so just figured i'd let you know <laughs> um i do want to i do appreciate everybody who's been coming out and giving me good wishes and 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 uh, communicating with me on my instagram situation i still don't know what the hell that's about forgive me on that i tried numerous times to try and get into contact with instagram um people were lending a hand through the twitter community from instagram because they all have problems as well they're showing you screenshots of their situations i mean it is a whole big mess folks it is a whole big mess that instagram does not have a live person or a live phone number or even a live chat to talk to someone about their problems they have nothing you're going on nothing so that that's kind of sad because they're like leaving you out in the open and you have to sit and suck wind until your date until the way they release you back out into the wild i mean it's ridiculous totally ridiculous it's sad but i thank everybody for that and i just had to let you know somehow um, to communicate, which is and let the, the good people know somehow. You know, I want to let you all know there's, there's a few people that I didn't get to, and I'm sorry about that, but that's why I posted it on my Instagram page, the actual screenshot, so this way people do know what that's about. Um, what else? What else? What else? I had so much to say, but then when I get on camera, it, it just and it goes right under my head because remember folks this isn't rehearsed there's no special lighting there's no special camera equipment this is just me talking to you i do have some new people here i want to say hi and and thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for hanging out with me as well and you must find something interesting thank you so much um i'm just me i just talk about what's going on i do give little reviews of things i do i purchase stuff from stores whatever i like is what i share I'm not sponsored in any way. I'm not coerced to do anything in any way. There are no promos here. There is none of that crap. It's just me just shooting the breeze and letting you know, you know, how I feel and, and what I'm feeling. Um, I did let go of my other coffee maker, by the way, the original coffee maker. I let that go. So the new coffee maker is doing good. I can't wait to start making iced coffee again because the weather is starting to get hot. Um, I now have 78 days for my trip. <sighs> it's going fast. The bag is going to be released from the closet anytime that has to be released because I do want to go through all that clothing and see what I don't want and see what I don't want to take. And it's going to be a lot not to take. There was a guy in Primark today. I was going to get another set of the packet cubes for $7. There was two hanging up on the hook. I made I made the turn. I seen him over there. I made the turn around to see if I can go get them. He got them. He bought both of them. So, you know, they're cute packet cubes. I guess he's going on a trip. <laughs> I would say so. Um, what else? I guess that's really it right now. I, I had so much more to say. I really should start writing things down and just get my memory going, but... I have so much stuff going through my head right now. The thing with that, the Instagram, but thank you so much again. I, I just wanted to say that to you. I just wanted to come out because the next few days I won't be around. Um, you know, my husband has his days off and that's our days off and that's our days together. So you'll probably see me again, maybe Thursday or Friday. I'll probably do another quick Primark run to see what's up. 
Um, also, they do have, though, at Primark, and I will tell you this, they, they have a bridal section. And there are bridal mini ears they came out with, the white ears, and they have um, beautiful little sequin, uh, little crown in the middle of the bow. It's attached. And then they have the veil that connects on the back. It's really pretty, really pretty. Um, one of the things that are very great about Primark, as you know, because I'm always raving about them, is that their prices are very affordable. These ears are only going for seven bucks. Even if they were 10 bucks, they would still be good. And they're an adorable, they're an adorable little set. They do have a bridal section, you know, and I think that's so cool. So that's really all that was there. I was, however, looking for minion stuff. And one of the things why I was looking for the minions is because the, the um, uh, Universal Studios in Orlando opened up their minion section. Like minion Land? I don't know what you call it. Please forgive me. I'm not a Universal Studios person, but maybe one day I hope to visit. Um, but they opened up the section and, and some of the influencers were down there also checking out and checking out all the foods and, and checking out all the the stores and everything and it looks it looks really nice it really does look nice um epic universe is going up day by day i, I have a feeling that's going to be up before the 2025 date i really do i just i don't know why i say that at least at least a certain section may be up you know that's what i want to think um uh, there is a new thing however down there about their photo system um you know they take pictures also like disney takes photo pass they also have their own photo program and they just started this um a little while ago I, I don't know when a few days a week whatever um they just started bringing out that when you do get off the ride and you look for your picture there is a one of those square barcodes that you are able to scan with your phone and you can get your picture right then and there i think that is wonderful that outbeats Disney with anything. I also was on, I said, you know what? Let me go look at the prices for these things. Cause you know, photo pass at Disney World, memory maker, photo pass goes for $199. Now it used to be when you pre-booked that before your vacation, let's say if I wanted it now, my husband and myself back in the day, we used to pre-book it. That used to be 179 or 169. They stopped that. So now it's 199 whether you're there, not there, whether you're going to be there. It's just a regular $199 price. Okay, it's all unlimited. A lot of people do have problems with this. Sometimes your photos go missing. For Sometimes they're not loaded until uh, a week or two later. Meanwhile, your trip is over. You're worried about your pictures. You know, you spend a lot on this package. The least thing they could do is have the picture pop up at the same time. I mean, it's ridiculous. So there, I was looking at the pros and the cons between Disney and Universal Studios. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm actually liking the Universal Studios photo program. I really do. And now you can also, you know, you they're downloadable. You download when you buy the photo package. You know, you can do that. Um, their packages seem to be a lot more affordable. For, they have like a day pass, then they have like a three day pass. I think that's like $89. You're getting unlimited, you're getting all your downloads, you're getting the ride pictures, you're actually able to purchase, you get discounts on purchasing them right there because they do have a photo shop right there that you can purchase your pictures. I think that is wonderful. I think that's wonderful. Um, this $199 stuff from Disney, I'm not going to do the photo pass this year. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I mean, you know, if you, if uh, I'll, I'll probably have the photo pass photographers do it. I'll get the card, you know, or do it on the magic band. And then when we get home, I'll see whatever one picture that I want, if it's worth anything. And then I would probably download it here, but not buy it actually to have it printed from them. I, what I usually do is I send my pictures all to my CVS account. I have a photo count on CVS. What are they, 29 cents each to print? An 8x10 is like $2.99. A 5x7 is like $1.99. Hello. Hello. I don't need all the fancy words at Disney World or, you know, things like that. Although you can dress them up. You can do that. 
as you download them from the computer. You can do that before you download, but you don't have to purchase any of the prints. You know, they make coffee mugs for you. You can do that at CBS too, or Walgreens, or Walmart. I don't know if Target has a photo program. I don't know that. I, I know Costco used to have a photo program, but hello, this is how you save some money. Be smarter, you know? I mean, you put, my pictures are more valuable than anything. You know, I've, I cherish my pictures and my memories, but I don't have to pay crazy prices for them. I ain't doing it. I've been learning that. I've been doing that for years, you know? I think last year we did the 50th anniversary. We did pay for that shot. And that was like a $20 shot, a $25 shot. It was a five, it's a five by seven. Um, it is a nice professional photo. I was not crazy about the photo pass photographers. I was not crazy about the photo pass photos last year, if you guys know that I was telling you about that too. Um, I wasn't, I just wasn't. So a, a lot of people are complaining down there about the photo pass um, program and how the people take shots. So I mean, if you're not into photography, you're not going to understand it. You just cannot stand there and shoot a picture with a camera and think it's going to be wonderful. There are things to do. <laughs> there's angles, there's <laughs> interactions, body language, you know what I'm saying? So and especially lighting. A lot of people's pictures, the lighting is like way off. They're on a dark ride or they're, in a, they're, they're, they're meeting somebody. The, the aperture must have been set too high on the camera in order to, to close the app. You know, you got to learn about this. I know because I was into photography. Um, there's so much to learn. I would be great for that thing. I think if, if ever, I would be a photo pass photographer, I think I would. I could show them quite a few things. <laughs> That's probably why I wouldn't get the job because I would know what I'm doing too much. What do you want me to tell you? All right, people, I'm going to leave now, and I uh, will talk to you maybe Thursday or Friday. Like I said, a few days off to spend time with hubby. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you so much for all your interactions. Thank you so much for all your, your prayers and all your good, uh, your kind words to me about the Instagram situation again. Thank you so much because it means a lot. It's, I'm, at a, I'm at a total loss for words. I really am. I have no idea. I just, I just think we get picked at random for these things sometimes. I really do because there's nothing on my Instagram page. Nothing. Nothing that they said on that post. Nothing. There's nothing there. I checked my account. There's nothing there. All right, people. God bless you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.